Hey guys, it's Christopher, and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. Um, last time we talked about non-playing characters, and in particular about human non-playing characters, but there is a second type of non-playing characters. And in this chapter, I will show you a few examples of this other type of non-playing characters. They are called general generalized. NPCs, generate non playing characters. So let's make a house, and this would be the library of Hyrule. A very small library, but in your, <coughs> in your game, you can do something. Uh, something more, something bigger. So, in a library, you will probably find books. <coughs> and uh, the reception desk. Let's make the reception desk. And actually, the library will be will not be really important, but the reception desk will be very important for this chapter. <laughs> um, okay, so first, let's make a sign, a welcome sign to indicate people that we are in the library. So it will be a generalized playing character because it, it's not a person it's an object and when the player interacts with the object by pressing the action key uh, we will show a dialogue and the dialogue will be called library dot um, welcome sign welcome sign So library dot welcome sign and it will it will only say library <laughs> and that's it. So again the difference between human NPCs and generalized NPCs is that Generalized NPCs have no special predefined pre 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 behavior. When you talk to a generalized NPC, um, nothing happens except the action you say you say here, you specify here. But when you talk to a human NPC, the the character will. Um, turn to the side will will look to the the hero and also when there is a movement um a human npc will will show s uh, animations stopped and walking depending on whether there is a movement or not so these are um, built-in behavior for for usual um, human NPCs but if you don't want that you you can make a generalized NPC and he'll he will only do what is specified here and also he will only interact with the direction specified here so if it if it is looking down we have to talk to him from the the, the south 
from its bottom side here and nothing happens if you talk from here so again this is a difference with um, human NPCs you can set the special direction any if you want your solid NPC to interact from any side but that does not mean that the sprite will turn to any direction the sprite is fixed and will only cha change if you do something from your script and by the way I'm not even know is if the sign has several directions or just one yes it has several directions still several directions but not in the walking animation <laughs> anyway oh okay no this is because there was something special with with sign in in my games uh, the player can actually lift a sign so it's a little bit more complicated but it's not the, the topic here okay so this is the difference between generalized NPCs and human NPCs let's make a human NPC who will be the receptionist <coughs> looking so the direction is also useful for human NPCs even though <coughs> Um, we can interact from any side. The direction from for human NPCs is the initial direction when the map starts. And the sprite will be this villager, and she will say yes because she's a she. <laughs> she will say library um, receptionist. Library dot receptionist, for example. Okay. <coughs> Library receptionist, and she she is much more friendly than than this sign because she says welcome to the High World Library. Um, what can I do for you? What can I do for you, sir? <coughs> so let's try that. What can I do? Great. So, okay, she interacts from any side, even though <coughs> the direction is set to down important difference with general NPCs and um, so the reception counter the reception desk why is it so important because we want to be able to talk to her from here so how can we do that because of course we we are not touching the bounding box of the character so we cannot interact what we can do is actually uh, make a second non-playing character this one will be a generalized one and he will have no sprite he will he will be invisible so this is perfectly possible and again this character will show the message um, library dot receptionist Oh, by the way, in this version of the editor, there is a small glitch with the size of non-playing character. It's always 16 by 16 like this. Here the, the rectangle should be only 16 by 16. Here. Even though the sprite is allowed to be larger. We can see that easily because, you see, I'm walking behind her. Be, uh, and the spri both sprites are, are overlapping but the collision box is only a square of 16 by 16 so this is a small detail let's try to talk to the reception desk 
Okay, it works. But, look at that. If I talk to her from this side and then I talk to the reception desk again, it's not great, not so great. I'm talking to her, but she's uh, turning her back. So, to fix this, what we can do is not directly show a dialogue from here, but um, call the map script and the reception desk will need a name. Reception desk. And she also needs a name, receptionist, okay. Um, open map script. Get the map, get the game. And when we interact with the reception desk, so it's on interaction, like for human NPCs like we saw in chapter 16, um, game, start dialogue, library receptionist, and also get the Sprite of the receptionist, NPC, get sprite, and set the direction of this sprite to south. So, um, sprite um, NPCs always have a four direction system for the, their sprite. Human NPCs, at least. Um, generalized <coughs> NPCs are, have more freedom, but um so direction zero is to the to the east direction one to the north two is to the west and three is to the south okay so it's like in in trigonometry to the south direction three so just remember that it's starting from always from the right and then it's turning counterclockwise. Okay, it should work like this. Okay, good. So as you know, it is um, even though. We are, we are doing this instruction after this one. Remember that all calls uh, of the Lua API of Solaris immediately return. So this call, oops, this call here is only starting the dialogue, but it returns uh, immediately, even if the dialogue lasts several seconds. So it works to change the direction after that. So the order doesn't really matter, but maybe you, for readability it, it is still better to do like this, if you prefer. Okay, so I think this is all we had to say about non-playing characters. You can use them to represent people and have um, nice usual behaviors of their sprites. Or you can use generalized NPCs to have more control of what happens exactly. And this one is supposed to be down, okay. So that's it for new playing characters and next time we are going to talk about dynamic tiles. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye!